You clicked on this video because you want to figure out how to conquer your weekend overeating and I'm here to help. I'm going to give you five practical tips that are going to help you conquer the weekend so that you stop falling off track and then having to get back on track every single Monday. And all I ask of you is if you find these tips helpful, please give it a like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. Number one is make sure you have easily prepared foods in the house. Foods that you can keep in the freezer, air fryer meals rotisserie chickens. By the way, if you didn't know, Trader Joe's is an amazing place to go to get these really, really cheap frozen air fryer meals that you can just chuck in the air fryer and that'll help you achieve your goals. Most of the time when I see clients overeating during the weekends, it's just because they're, they're done with their stressful, crazy, busy work week and they're just looking to chill and relax. So it's a lot easier to go order out some pizza or go out to a bar or whatever and just go eat some really crappy food and just binge and let loose for the weekend. However, the more prepped food you have on hand, the easier it will be to stick to your goals. So I would still recommend that you have some foods prepped in your fridge ready to go. Number two is create some structure around your weekends. For example, if you eat three meals and two snacks on the weekdays, you should eat three meals and two snacks on the weekends. Sleeping in, skipping your workouts, staying on the couch all weekend. This is what most people do and I feel like this is where people really drop the ball. Number three is ditch the cheat meal. I don't know where cheat meals got popularized, but they are a terrible idea. It's pretty much just a glorified binge. I recommend that you stay away from the term cheat day and instead, like I said earlier, have one to two meals that you plan to not track. This will still give you a little bit of weekend flexibility, but you won't go completely off the rails because you had your one to two meals, now it's time to get back on track. Plus, if you feel like you need a cheat meal, then chances are you're being too restrictive during the week. Instead of waiting till the weekends to have that pizza, you can have it on Tuesday night. Just have one slice and be done with it rather than eating an entire pizza pie on Saturday. And number four is find the real reason why you're overeating. There's always a why and the further you dig into that why, the easier it will be to find out your reason for overeating. It's not just because you're extra hungry on the weekends. Chances are there are some underlying issues like overstressed out, underslept, under recovered, you feel like you're not supported by your partner, you have emotional eating issues, right? There's all kinds of issues that may be underlying under the surface that you need to deal with. The sooner you find out these underlying reasons as to why you're overeating, eating the easier it's going to be to overcome this altogether. And number five is take accountability for your actions. What I mean by this is don't make excuses as to why you overate on the weekend. Accept it have fun, enjoy yourself, and then get back on track the next meal. Don't beat yourself up, don't make excuses, don't feel terrible about what you did. The more guilt and shame that you have, the more you're going to repeat this cycle over and over. I really, really hope these tips were helpful for you. If you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm gonna leave a link down below to apply for coaching with me, and we can work on your nutrition and your training. I will see you guys in the next video.